Hello and welcome. We're making a Bakewell tart in this video, a fragrant almond dessert that has its roots in the town of Bakewell in England's Peak District. We'll start by making the bottom pastry layer. So we're adding in one and a half cups of all-purpose flour into a mixing bowl, along with one stick or four ounces of cold diced butter. Begin to work the flour and butter with your fingertips until you have a mix that resembles breadcrumbs. Next, add a pinch of salt and then a few tablespoons of cold water so that you can bring the dough together into a bowl. Once you have your bowl of dough, pop it into a smaller bowl and cover it with cling film and leave it to chill for around 15 minutes in the fridge. And in the meantime, prepare your work surface where you'll be rolling out the dough. So dust the area with flour and remember to flour the rolling pin as well. And don't be tempted to miss out on the step of chilling the pastry. It really is necessary because it gives the gluten strands the time to settle down which then makes the pastry easy to roll out and it also stops shrinkage. And once it's chilled, roll out your pastry then until it's about 10 to 11 inches in diameter and then transfer into your baking tin. And if you have any excess pastry, just trim that off the sides. Cover your pastry with cling film and then pop that in the fridge for about 15 minutes. And once the pastry is chilled, we're going to use a fork now to prick holes along the base. So pricking holes into the pastry when it's rolled out allows the steam to escape whilst it's baking. And that way you get an evenly cooked pastry. And what we're doing here is blind baking. So place a sheet of parchment paper over the pastry and then drop in some pastry weights or beans or rice. And that's just some weight to prevent the pastry from rising and bubbling. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Remove the pastry weights and then bake again for another 10 minutes. And then on to making the frangipan topping for our bakewell. Into a large bowl then add half a cup of white sugar, and three quarters of a stick of softened butter and beat them together until you have a light and fluffy mixture. And next add in two eggs and one teaspoon of almond extract. And beat well to ensure all the ingredients are incorporated. And then finally add in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and one cup of almond flour. and beat together until everything is combined. And now we're going to put the whole tart together. And I'm using uh, raspberry jam here and I have about half a cup. You can use more or less depending on how sweet you want your tart to be. Then I'm using one cup of frozen raspberries here, so make a layer of raspberries over the jam. The last layer is the frangipan. Spoon it on and spread it evenly over the entire surface of your tart. And top with a quarter cup of flaked almonds. Bake your tart at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 180 degrees Celsius, 
for about 35 to 40 minutes. It's ready when it's a nice even golden brown colour on top and you can use a toothpick to check if it's cooked through. I hope you enjoy trying out this recipe, it really is a little taste of England. And as always, thanks for watching.